So as you can see, I've extended the canvas a little bit. I've um, just been messing around with this sky. I want that sky to be a little brighter. So I'll just connect that up. Uh, just a little, little bit lighter. Okay. As you can see, everything's really coming together. I've, I've just applied a small crop just to know more or less where I'll crop. I've hit U. I've come to this layer and I've just uh, selected where I want to crop. So it's already seeming like it's got some balance and proportion to it. I've just uh, lightened up the sky as we can see, but I might actually start to just paint some haze in and uh, see how that works. That's really soft brush. Just really softening it out. Just hit F6 and we have our color slider there. Just drag that off. And that's just still too bright there. Those blues are coming out too much. I might actually go into the back plate itself and just to use saturation I might just turn that down a little bit and also just darker I like control I so I can invert and I'll just paint into it and I'll just stop that's too much Um, I think that's already working better, but all the same, I still think it's a little too much. So just creating that depth uh, will also probably want to create some more depth in this water. So let's Let's also paint what it tends to reflect the sky. So, trying to get a little bit what is going on in the sky there. I mean, I'm going to use some you can see. Okay, so that's just our basic depth, and well, I'm going to start building it from there. So I'll just come to our superseded and check out. It's just a little prep. I'll duplicate our city, but I'll get rid of the map. I'll delete it, and I will set it to screen mode. You can see the screen modes come through, and we're starting to get that lighting going through. I may want to work this lighting just individually to make it work, but at the same time, I mean, if I'm doing a quick one, I just want to grab the lights and what works. So I'm actually going to grab you, invert the colors, just get rid of that sky, just get rid of all that. I don't really need it. I'll paint it out. Just bring up that opacity. It's fading off in the distance. Okay. So now I have more or less my mask. Bring that down. I just want to. We know this. This continues some somewhere around there. And we will come here to levels because there's a lot coming through we quite can't understand and we just really want those lights really to come through. Let's shift this around. Actually, let's unlink it so we can just shift around. So, as you can see, we're kind of just trying to shift where, where we have more of our, our, our light sources coming through. And I think actually where we had it in the beginning is probably the best. Uh, I can also just, just clone it, just hit S, just start cloning. You 
I'm still not happy with that water there, but I think I'll, I'll actually adjust that with um, maybe some selective coloring. Okay, so let's brush out because we want to treat this in a special way because it's our central piece. I still want to add something to these roads. This is just, then again, it's an indication just of what's happening. And as you can see, it's kind of just giving a certain life. I'll do. We have our blue and our color balance. So I'm just trying to balance out what's happening. We have our, we have our blue and our orange composition. Just trying to see what works really. So the shadows, just the shadows. But then again, it's you know, it's uh, it's about experimenting and and trying different things and seeing what works. And um, I don't know. I might want some white in this park. Actually. something coming through there yeah I think that's maybe something like that and I'll just continue correcting this uh, and hopefully in the next tutorial we'll have all this part roads set up so I will see you in the next tutorial and the next lesson where we will start to continue actually continue our detailing and just bring it more and more to life and then start going into colors and and just correcting our our water so i'll see you in the next lesson